Peter Sagan. What do you got to do to win Milan San Remo? Sorry? What's the secret to winning Milan San Remo? Uh, what is the secret? I don't know because I never won it. After uh, finishing close so many times, do you have an, an idea? Pojo attack, wait for the sprint? Every year you are asking me the same question. I don't know to answer now. Maybe I'm going to be more smart in the Pojo, but in that moment when I am there, not now. And you have teammates you can use uh, on the Pojo? Always depends uh, how the race is going. Always depends uh, if we have some bad luck. Always depends, I don't know, from weather, from wind. Then uh, there's a lot of things together. What do you have to think about? Not how would you like to win? What is the dream scenario for you? Important is to win. How, how you win, it's, uh, does, yeah, doesn't matter. Well. Important to win. <laughs> a solo attack from the Pojo? I don't know. What do you have learned from the edition from last year? Uh, well, it was like it was, but what I had to learn. I was happy what I did, but uh, after in the end I did some mistakes and uh, in the end I paid. <laughs> Is that the experience you needed this year? Depends. Maybe yes, maybe not. Every race is different. And does this year you change a bit your program? You skipped Omlop at Nisblad and Kuhn. Uh, how, how it worked out for the moment for you? You, you wanted maybe to, to, to delay a bit uh, your, your top, uh, your pick uh, shape? Yeah, that was his, uh, the plan. But after we will see what's going to happen. But you feel now that it's different? You're not in exactly the same shape like last year before Milan San Remo? Uh, for sure, I'm a little bit behind what about your team it has some improvements this year there's daniel oz do you think you have a really stronger team this year comparing to last year's for sure we have a much stronger team this year yeah how, how are you behind you say for sure you're behind yeah i think so because uh the race is what i didn't do before or what i did last year then <clears throat> i am a little, little bit back with condition but uh, that is no no, no problem how do you come out of Trento? A bit of confidence, I'd assume, after sec at three second places? Oh, well, because uh, I'm getting better day by day. It is important to feel good. Peter, after last year, did you ever watch the video of the finale? Or? No. No? Because maybe you think you were a little bit too generous in, you know, after the attack? Yeah, well, but <clears throat> that is also the thing, uh, the way how you're going to win. Uh, and if you're going to analyze how... how uh, Piato won last year, and uh, if I win like that, I'm not happy if, with my performance. What do you mean exactly? If I'm going to win like that. By, by not working enough? Yeah, like, or we are playing fair play, or after, you know, it's very easy. <laughs> so, you were, you were a little bit disappointed with him, or? That's, that no, no, right? like, uh, everybody, we are different, we have different personality, and... Uh, that is the life. Like uh, that's why life is beautiful because everybody we are different. It's not your style of racing. You prefer to attack and win. Oh well, I prefer to make some show for people and uh, how it's going is going. It uh, doesn't matter if you win or you lose. Is Milan Sanremo not one of the most difficult races if everybody is riding at your wheel? Comparing with the Tour of Flanders and the other classics, is Milan Sanremo not more difficult because everybody is riding at your wheel? Oh, well, uh, depends. You have to manage what you want to do, what, uh, if you have legs, the tactics. You have to decide in the moment what you, what you, you are able to, to do in the race. Because if you have no legs, then uh, for sure you are, I, I'm not going to break away, right? You would have to choose one classic this year. Which one would that be? Which one would you like to win the most? Ah, it doesn't matter. Some classic is always good if you can take. <laughs> it's the way how you win it, maybe more than. Oh well, it's more important to enjoy, to be healthy, and uh, have fun. How do you think it changes things without Gaviria in the race? I mean, quick step. Now is it still the team to watch? <clears throat> ah, for sure, they they are going to plan something different but 
<clears throat> how it's going to influence the race, I I don't really I don't know because uh, could be different. But also, you know, uh, you will see the final, the last five kilometers, not before, or maybe could be some bad luck, some some crashes, some flat tires. But in the end, you are if you are in the final, you are going to see what to do with the riders who. With, uh, which you are. How is it with the pressure of riding with the World Championship jersey? I mean, you've had it for a while now, but how is that pressure of everybody watching Peter Sagan? Oh, well, it's nice. Like, I am very happy for this jersey and I, I, I am enjoying it. it it's not pressure. <laughs> change the race tactics with everyone watching Sagan? Well, that is not anymore about the jersey, I think. Peter, what does Milan Sanremo mean for you? Uh, we are starting the season, like a uh, real, real season for uh, spring, right? With Classic and uh, it's the first Monument Classic, then uh, it's opening season. Uh, it's a very nice race because uh, I'm finishing very close to home, then uh, it's not a long travel. <laughs> when was the, the first Milan San Remo you can remember or you saw in 2011. Yeah. I never saw it before. <laughs> what can you remember of that year? What, what did you think when you saw it? Uh, well, I was thinking like how it's possible to do 300 kilometers, but in the end, yeah, it's long and uh, it's different than all different races. For sure, it's different like Roubaix, Flanders, San Remo is also different. Does it also feel as like your home race? Yeah. Oh, home race. <coughs> Well, uh, I was growing up in Italy, like for four years, five years, and uh, I think it's uh, most important Italian race, Milan Sanremo and Lombardia, Giro d'Italia, but from the one day, or maybe World Championship when, when it was in Firenze. Uh, well, it's a big race. But you live now near Sanremo? You train there often or you go there to look? Sometimes. Uh, well, if I'm going to see Cipresa Pozzo, yes, I, I think about that, but I'm going maybe twice for a year. Peter, today uh, Katusha confirmed that Kitty will ride. He won two stages here. Do you think he can win Milan Saremo? Uh, everything is possible. It depends how you play your cards. Would you be confident in a sprint in the Via Roma against the big sprinters? or? Oh, well, always depends because it's not a really normal sprint like after 150 kilometers, you know? Sorry, guys, last two, I missed him. After 300 kilometers, it's different. <laughs>